Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome to a new video. I feel like it's been a little bit since I picked up the camera because I feel like a lot has happened. Like we went camping, we came back, we took our gender photos, I had a surprise baby shower, um, I announced on social media that we're having a boy, I announced here that we're having a boy, and a lot has happened. And I really haven't had much time to like film, I've been just so busy. Um, today we're just hanging out at home. It's Tuesday. I was going to take the kids to the library for the story time today. But honestly, I just woke up not really feeling the best. Really exhausted today. I don't know why. Um, I think last night I woke up a lot. Um, I was kind of tossing and turning. <sighs> baby boy, now that I can say his gender, baby boy has been moving so much. I feel like all he does is somersaults all day long, which is like super reassuring, you know, that he's active in there, but holy crap, um, the baby movements kind of make me nauseous, and like, no, I'm not, I don't want to say my nausea's back, but I'm having like peaks of nausea throughout the day that I'm kind of like, ugh, but anyways, um, me and Cameron opened up a can of worms on Sunday that we just shouldn't have, and if you guys know, we have three bedrooms upstairs, and I've been back and forth on doing a nursery for the baby. Um, I was just going to keep his crib in the guest room. And the guest room is on the other side of the house. And the boys' room is actually right above ours, which they have, like, their own bathroom. They have a junior suite. And we moved their room. Um, they had bunk beds. They had two full-size bunk beds. And I wanted to take it apart because Landon's on the top. And Landon just gets up so early in the morning and he like stomps his freaking feet down the stairs every morning and it usually wakes up Asher and Asher really sleeps in if he can and I felt like it was just really hold on as I'm talking to you guys I really want to hold some laundry so let me just put this out um anyways as I was I really wanted Asher to be able to start sleeping in in the mornings so I measured Okay, I did measure with the tape measure the bunk beds that if I was to split it apart to make it work. And it worked, but it was an inch off because I didn't consider the baseboards. I measured wall to wall. I didn't measure the baseboard. So when it came to putting, I was going to put the bunk beds in an L shape, but it's going to have like one along this wall, one along this wall, and remove the stairs. It was supposed to fit. Like, I did measure, I just didn't keep in mind of the... I measured incorrectly, so <laughs> it did not fit. Um, so now, we... Um, Cameron was like... And if we did it, like, this way and this... So that room is one of the smaller rooms that we had for the boys. But with bunk beds, it was perfectly fine. Like, they had a huge middle piece still. They had a lot of space still in their room. But because there's a full closet and a bathroom in there, they don't have a lot of space, like, wall space, I guess. So, um, the only other option was to move the boys out of that room. And Cameron was like, oh, well, we could do this. He was like, he was we were trying to figure out other ways. Then he was like, well, we can, like, not attach the bunk bed and, like, get rid of the footboard. And I was like, I don't want to do that. Like, I just, no. So, I've been on, I've been debating on moving the playroom into the guest room, the guest room into the boys room and the boys room into the playroom that makes sense so that's what we did and oh my gosh it's been so much freaking work when I say so much work it's been uh, we ended up splitting apart the bunk beds I moved everything out of the boys room and moved it out so I could put all the boys stuff in there and their room is like pretty much done now. Cameron ended up helping me yesterday move the dresser because I couldn't move that by myself being pregnant. And um, I moved everything into the playroom. I cleaned up the playroom. The playroom's still being worked on because I do still have the crib in there and all of Cameron's military gear. And he needs to put the military gear in the attic or in the garage. I told him, like, you just need to figure out a different spot for it. So he's going to put it in the garage this weekend. So it just kind of has to sit there for now. But I pretty much set up the boys' room so that their playroom is set up. The boys' room is set up and the guest room is kind of set up. 
Um, I'll show you guys it in a bit here. It actually looks really cute. I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. The boys' room looks so cute together because their beds are actually like side by side and they can see each other. They were so excited to sleep in there. They've been loving it, which is amazing. Um, and I feel more confident with if we do have the baby, eventually he can sleep above us and I will feel like it's not that it's not as much of a walk compared to like the guest room which is like across and also the guest room is the coldest room in the house because we have a second unit an AC unit upstairs and that's like the first room that gets like the direct flow so it's pretty chilly in that room um and I didn't feel comfortable putting a baby in there putting the kids playroom there is fine because it's it's a little chilly like it's fine for the kids but not for a newborn or for a baby so we swapped all the rooms, and I still have more work to do, um, but I've kind of had to, like, take a break. That's, I think that's why I'm probably not feeling good either. I really think I overdid it with a lot of the moving. So it's just, I think I just did too much. I've been trying to, like, slow down at the gym, too. I've only been trying to go to, like, three to four days a week at the gym, um, just because I've been having just a lot of, like, pain, and my body's really sore from just, like, working out. Um, we split up our split, so... I do chest and back all in one day, arms all in one day, legs all in one day, and pretty much Cameron hits it twice a week. I only hit it once a week because I'm only going three to four times. Um, and yeah, I don't know. That's what's going on. Um, I had my beautiful baby shower. I want to show you guys what I got, so I'll probably show you guys in this vlog. Um, my mom and my friend surprised me, kind of talked about this, but... My mom spoiled the hell out of my son, um, as she always does, and my friend Natalie spoiled us, and uh, my mom's friend, um, and then also our friend uh, Monica, she gave me a gift card, which was really, really nice. I can buy like whatever I want for the baby, um, and it was just really nice. It was just four of us. We had a little tea. It was just the four of us. We had a little tea party. It was so cute, and then the kids came. I have the hiccups. Afterwards, and... <laughs> It was so much fun. It was just like really, really nice. It was really beautiful. It was so sweet. Um, they did an amazing job on it. I mean, my mom is very extra with everything. Um, and so to be expected, but it was very extravagant. Um, you guys will see the last video I think I posted about it. Um, and yeah, it was so beautiful. I'm so excited. I'm so thankful. I'm so happy that we finally announced that we're having a boy because y'all were like, bugging me about knowing the gender and I think so many of you were actually really disappointed because you were expecting me to have a girl which I'm not gonna lie I thought I was having a girl too for a while there um like I was sure that I was having a girl because I was just so nauseous and so sick but I'm having a boy I did two blood tests and an ultrasound and my ultrasound his legs are wide open he was letting us know his parts so we are having another baby boy, but yeah, name suggestions would be great. Um, we're so excited though to have another baby. Like, I I can't believe he's coming soon. So yeah, I don't know what the plan for today is. I was gonna go to the library, like I said. We're gonna hang out at home. I'll show you guys upstairs. I'm probably gonna be working on it a little bit today. It's kind of a mess up there, but. I made that like my week's project like I don't want to like rush into everything in one like one day like I was trying to do I did a lot on Sunday and I did a lot yesterday and for the rest of the week I'm just gonna slowly work on more things it's really not much left so that's the nice part but but having the crib and the military stuff in the playroom is just kind of driving me nuts but I'm like you just need to deal with it Ruthie for now because I'm not moving that so yeah that's what we're doing today. So I'm gonna finish holding up this laundry and then I'm gonna go change the boys' sheets today, I think. Um, Cause I moved their beds over but I didn't change anything. So gotta go do that today too. So yeah, let's have a good day. The boys are like begging me for some lunch right now. So I think I'm gonna make them like a snack tray. So <laughs> to be honest with you, I have one of these. I see like a friend of mine. She does this for her kids all the time. Um, but I think I'm going to do like a lunch one. Um, and just pretty much give them like a bunch of different things um, to eat. 
So I kind of want to clear out my fridge a little bit. I have some of these muffins from my baby shower. Oh my gosh, I'm dropping it. I'm just going to have that. These are the blueberry ones. Yeah, there was like chocolate in this bag and now it's like getting everywhere. Um, let's see. I'm going to try to, can we see? I mean, really, we need to see. It's on the ground, right? Finished eating. This is what's left. They devoured. They're like, huh? I think the cracker worked. Ew. Yeah. Wait, mommy, did we do the dishwasher machine today or yesterday? Yesterday you did it. So you put one right here. Both of you, yeah, after two. And then you put a yellow star right here for doing, uh, wait, sorry, um, here. To help with the laundry. Yes, because that's chores. And this morning, you guys stayed in bed all wait, night. Wait, wait, where do I put it? Right, right there. there. Yep. So we had a little change of plans. <laughs> Our friend Natalie was literally pulling up to her old house. No. And, um, ah, I just pinched myself. Ow. Um, and her tire popped and she's using her husband's work car and not only did her tire pop but it was her donut on her car because she has a donut on her <laughs> car right now because the tire actually popped so I had to bring her home um, there's a fiasco trying to figure out she has a son so we had to figure out how to take out her car seat and it was just too much. So I had three car seats in my car and I was like, this is my reality right now. Like this is what my reality is gonna look like in a couple months. So crazy, but I'm home now. I'm gonna change these sheets quick and the boys are gonna go down for quiet time and naps, so but I'm gonna change the sheets. <laughs> upstairs <sighs> my body hurts Ugh. but so this used to be the boys room and now keep in mind too my house is still a mess from moving everything but this used to be the boys room and now it's going to be the guest room slash nursery um like I still have things to do so just keep that in mind um like that's gonna come in my room eventually um this will come in my room eventually I'm debating on actually getting rid of this. I would really like like a rocker or something. Um, not sure yet, but for now this stays. This was literally in my guest room, so. And then over here, we're gonna put the crib. Um, I may, I'm gonna move the crib in here for now, and then I may end up putting the crib downstairs in our room after the bassinet. Depends on how he sleeps. If he's a great sleeper, I may just keep him upstairs because it's literally like his room is here and then my room is right here. So he's right underneath me, Raja. <laughs> so um, 
I may do that. I'm not sure yet. This is all gonna get taken down. This is like the boys dresser it used to be here. So this is all gonna get taken down. Um, and then in here, it's like the closet. It just has like a bunch of baby stuff. This needs to get put in the garage still. Um, this is all baby stuff. This is all baby stuff from the baby shower, his crib, um, more extra stuff. This needs to go in the garage. This is all Cameron's like military stuff, my wedding dress. So this just has to stay in here for now because we have nowhere else to put it. It does not fit in our closet downstairs. So this is all what it is for now. The boys' bathroom. I don't want to show you guys because it's kind of gross, but the boys' bathroom <laughs> needs to, I need to move everything into the other bathroom. So all this will be moved into the next bathroom. Um, I have a screw through here. So again, I have so much to do, but then if you go here, like I, this is all going donated. This is from the crib. I need to get rid of these. Like there's a lot to do. Like this needs to go in the playroom, playroom, playroom. This is the boys' new room. As you guys kind of saw it earlier. Um, like I still need to take like this sign down and that sign down. But this is Landon's bed. He made his bed after he woke up from his nap. And then Asher's bed. And I don't know what they maybe it's like I don't even know what they were. They put them on the wall, but I need to get those off. But I want to find like some kinds of like baskets for under here. Maybe I'm gonna put like their pants or shoes. I don't know yet. But this is their beds, and then over here we have their little stand where there are books, and then they have quiet time toys. These are all toys that they can bring into bed and kind of play with on quiet time. So I need to get rid of this. This needs to go in the playroom. And then in their closet, we put their dresser. Um, this <laughs> is so ghetto. We had to put like little books or something to kind of keep it flat because it was kind of actually like a little tilted. Um, this weekend, Cameron is going to mount it to the wall. So, this is just temporary so, like, it doesn't fall because now it's, like, sturdy uh, before, like, it would literally fall out. So, um, for now, <laughs> this is what has to be there. And then we will mount it to the wall this weekend and we still have to hang things. Um, and then the boys' clothes. And then up here just have extra, like, I have, like, the extra pants and stuff, extra shoes, and then, like, extra stuff for us their little hamper, their shoes, little hats. And I'm actually thinking on this little wall that I'm actually gonna put like one of those like little mirrors. So if they wanna get dressed here in the morning, they can like look at themselves or whatever. Cause there's like lots of space in here. Um, not sure yet what I'm gonna do, um, but that's this room so far. And then this is my guest bathroom, which the boy stuff's gonna come in here. It's um, literally a mess because I've been in the middle of moving everything. And then this is the new playroom. Again, the crib, this is all Cameron's military, like extra gear and stuff that he needs to bring back, all of this. So I told him, I'm like, you just need to get rid of it. Like put it in the attic if you have to, put it in the garage, I don't know. Um, and then this is like a bean bag that I'm gonna put in here eventually and the baby's crib. So this needs to be taken out. And then this is what the playroom's looking like so far. The kids were in here earlier playing. Um, I'm gonna end up putting the Lego table probably in one of these, like, I don't know if, what I'm gonna move around, but probably put it against the wall or something um, because they do play with it quite often. Um, but I have these here. I need to move it around, but this, the kitchen's over here. They've been liking their little kitchen table, neck, or sorry, their table next to the kitchen because they play house. So that's there. Um, and then we have like this one here. And then the little cameras, I can see them. And then this is their little closet. Um, this is actually from their old bunk bed. Um, it was the stairs and it was supposed to have storage. So I was like, you know what? I don't want to get rid of it. So we just put it in here to store their trucks. Um, I have it. Uh, I need to get... I need to mount, um, I do need to mount this to the wall um, just for safety reasons and God forbid they climb up this or something. Um, we have some costumes. There's extra costumes up here too, but I just need to figure out what I'm doing with this still. And then extra toys, more extra toys. These are my stuff, like my craft stuff. Um, and then we have this bookcase here. This one's also broken but the bottom's just open for now. But it's like all their games and puzzles and stuff. And then I have like my Cricut 
And then these two bins are like extra toys that we rotate out of. Um, and this is a game too. I don't know what they were playing in here, but and then I need to hang this up in the playroom. But this is what this is looking like so far. Again, it's not like aesthetically pleasing, I guess, but it's practical and it's what's working for the kids. So this is going to be their playroom. It's much bigger than the other room. Um, I debated on putting even the boys in this bedroom, but I don't want them so far away from me. Like, it doesn't seem like much walking, but it is. And this room also gets the coldest with this vent with the AC unit that we have up here. So this is their playroom. And I think this is great. It has plenty of space and I'm not moving the rooms around anymore. That is what everything so, is looking like so far. Um, try to be as like practical as I can with everything but it's just been a lot so like having my house upside down like this is like driving me nuts but like there's not much more I can do right now so it is what it is but I do want to show you guys quickly what I got for my baby shower um my mom gave us the infant car seat which it's actually in the garage right now so can't get that but I want to show you guys what I got so this is like from my, from my friend Natalie here um she ended up getting me this Winnie the Pooh set this is like part of my registry um I love Winnie the Pooh and I think he's so stinking cute but I like like the like the simple Winnie the Pooh not like the cartoon one I, like the, I don't know but she got me this, like it's all these swaddles. How cute. All right, because like look at how cute. Love it. She got me this and she also got me the um, crib sheet, which I'm so excited. It's so adorable. Um, so I got that. She got me this um, for the shower, for the baby. Um, she got one of those. My mom actually got me one too. But I think I'm just going to keep them in all the bathrooms because you just never know when you need one. Like, my boys use it too, so got that. Um, she got me a bag um, of wipes. It has Winnie the Pooh on it. So, some wipes. Gotta have wipes. Um, she got me this super cute little Carter's elephant toy. How cute. And then she also got me this bib set. Blue, gray, and green super cute it has like little snaps on it that's what she got me super sweet of her so one of the things my mom got me were the hatch nest which i use right i have the older generation actually in the boys room i've literally had it since landon was like bored um but this is like the newer one it has the, the alarm clock i swear by this like i've literally used it for all my kids get the hatch like if you're debating on getting it for your kids get it like my kids love it they use it for the red light green light for wake up times um they love the noise they love the music so got one for baby boy for him to have his own um gift uh gift card for my other friend um my mom got me a bunch of Winnie the Pooh clothes she got a preemie set just in case because I did have my boys both had 37 weeks. So she's like, just in case, because my, both my boys wore preemie. So she had this little Winnie the Pooh set. How cute. She got me this little Winnie the Pooh set. And it has like three different size onesies, all in Winnie the Pooh. Super darling. She got me this Winnie the Pooh set. Oops. Um, little sleeper. Super cute. Like, Love it. She found all of it at Walmart. She said Walmart had so many Winnie the Pooh. Um, she got me these little Winnie the Pooh hats. How cute. And all of these are like interchangeable with each other. So that'd be nice. She got me these little Winnie the Pooh socks. <laughs> His theme's definitely gonna be more Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh bibs. How cute. I die. I die. She got me these little socks for him, which are really nice because I actually don't have much socks now um, because I kind of got rid of the socks with each of my kids. And then more socks. Super cute. And the show is how freaking cute. If you know anything about my mom, my mom loves bunnies. 
So she found this like rolling bunny toy and it's like silicone. Like this is silicone and this is like wood. So she got that too. And that's what's in this box or this bag, I should say. She got so much stuff. And in this bag, she got this outfit. It says best snuggler. And then there's like these little pants. Oh, this way. And then there's like the wrap with little pants with little feeties. So cute. My back is hurting me still bad. <laughs> um, she got me this really cute little outfit. It's 12 months, but who cares? Um, super cute. I love like the thermal knit. She got the baby some bath towels, which I really needed. This is from the Honest brand. Um, this I don't have any towels, so some bath towels. Uh, she got me these cute bibs. This is I love my mommy, and then it's like all neutrals, and then the cute little bear, super cute. And then she got this little outfit. It's like the little sleepers, and it has it matches the bib. So and I love sleepers with the zippers. So sleeper and the sleeper, super cute. Love the neutrals. And then she got this really cute little outfit. Um, has whales on it, but how cute. It has like little sweater stripes and then these little pants. Super cute. She got this little Mickey Mouse set. This is another newborn set. Um, super cute, it's Disney. And it has like a little hat. So stinking cute, I die. And then she found this like little set. It's actually a camping set. How freaking cute. It's like little onesies. And have like this one. And she's like, well, I know you're wanting to go camping this like fall, like onesies here, so you can have like some cute camping stuff, which we are planning like a little camping trip like close by. Um, probably going up back up to the white sands. So super cute. She found this little cute outfit too. Um, little sleepers for dinosaurs too and she actually said that she got this one because she got like a Mickey set and a dinosaur set because like both my kids one likes Mickey one likes dinosaurs so it's like kind of like for not for them but like in remembering like of them I don't know and then she got these two sets of pants these match those onesies so this is like the koala bear and all that and then this is like the neutral and she got there was another pair of pants, yeah. And she got more baby pants. And then she got this super cute feeding set. How cute. It's like a silicone with like little like spoon and fork. And then she got like the matching little um, like cup, like the silicone cup with straw. Super cute. She got these adorable stacking silicone teether rings. Love this so much. Like this is so aesthetically pleasing. Um, and then she got a pacifier clip. She got a pacifier clip and some pacifiers, which the kids already put them in their mouth. And then she also got another, um, a crib sheet. So, got that too. And that's what I got for my baby shower. And then I got a gift card too, um, to Carter's, which I'm excited. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, I have a lot. I still have a lot that I need to buy for baby, but in reality, I can get by just fine. Um, I just need a bathtub, like, really bad. I don't have a bathtub for this baby. Jeez. But, yeah, we're gonna start. Hello? Like, what are you doing? Um, we're gonna start dinner now. I'm gonna prep the salmon. Um, wait for the kids to come home and Cameron um, give them baths, have dinner, and honestly just relax because my back is really hurting. I told Cameron, I'm not sure if maybe I maybe pinched something because of the way my back feels. Like, I think I may have, which is not good because it's like really painful right now. But I wanted to show you guys too. Look at my freaking tomato plant. Holy hell. She's massive. I really need to stimp her ends. I think I'm gonna like get rid of this and this one. And maybe this stock too, cause she's huge. Holy crap. 
And this is my little purple bell peppers. Look here, you can see them. And then this is going to be my zucchini. Kind of crisping up a little, but hopefully she comes. But yeah, she's already getting flowers, which should be a sign that I'm getting tomatoes soon, right? And this is my strawberries. So exciting! And then I have some onions, like random onions, like these are onions. But how cute! Yeah, I think I'm just gonna end the video here, you guys. To be honest with you, I'm sorry if today was like a pretty boring day. Um, but we'll get better videos up. I plan on filming a lot more, so. We will get things posted. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Be part of our family. Like, we're growing. Our channel has been growing really slowly, but really well, even though it's slow. So, subscribe. Join the fam. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.